Hello and welcome to a video on forming expressions for the perimeter of different 2D shapes. And I apologise in advance for my voice, which as you can probably tell is quite croaky. And um, I do have a cold at the moment, which is, which is why. Right, so in the last lesson we looked at simplifying expressions by collecting like terms. And we're just going to apply that to different 2D shapes. So if we look at this rectangle here, the width of the rectangle or the base is 3x and the height of our rectangle is 2x. Uh, so let's form an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle. Now let's just remind ourselves what the perimeter means. Well the perimeter is just the total distance around the outside of a shape. So to work out the perimeter of this shape or to write an expression for the perimeter we are going to add up all of our side lengths. So we're going to start with 2x and we're going to add on 3x. We're going to add on another 2x and we are going to add on 3x. So we have formed an expression for the perimeter of our shape. Now, you should be able to notice that these are all like terms and we know we can add together like terms. So let's simplify this. So 2x plus 3x, well that gives us 5x plus 2x, that gives us 7x, plus 3x, we are now at 10x. So our perimeter of this shape, represented as an expression, is 10x. Now remember, x is our variable, that can be any value. So if x was uh, 1, then this would just be 10 times 1, which is 10. And if we're measuring in centimetres, it would be 10 centimetres. But if we to change the x to 5, for example, then now the perimeter would be 10 times 5, which is 50 centimetres. Okay, let's do another example, and this time we've got an arrowhead. Now the first thing you may be wondering is that we don't have an expression for this side length or this side length. And you are correct, however, these dashes give us vital information. These two dashes here tell us that this side and this side are exactly the same length. So if this side is 4a, this side is also going to be 4a. Likewise, we've got two dashes here and two dashes here. So these two side lengths are the same. So this is going to be 3b. And now we've got all our side lengths. Let's form an expression. So the perimeter, we're going to add everything together. So we've got 4a plus 4a plus 3b plus 3b. And now we've got like terms. So we can group terms together. So we've got 4a here, and we've got another 4a here, so we can add these together, that gives us 8a. And likewise, we can add these two terms together, we've got plus 3b, plus another 3b, well that will give us plus 6b. So we are now at 8a plus 6b, so that is our perimeter. Now can we simplify this even further? Is this 14ab? And the answer is no, we cannot simplify this any further because these two terms are not like terms. So this is our answer. Okay, let's do one more example with this shape here and notice again how we've got missing side lengths. So the perimeter, we're gonna add up all of the side lengths. So start at the top, we've got this length, which is 8m. And then we're going to add on this length here. Well, this length is exactly the same as this length. So if this is 6m, this is also going to be 6m. So we're going to add on 6m. Then we're going to add on this length at the bottom, which is 2m. Then we're going to add on this length here. And again, this side length is the same as this side length. So that is plus 4m. We're going to add on this length here. Now, how do we work out what this length is here? Now, we know that the top is 8 metres. Or sorry, not 8 metres, 8m. It could be metres, but let's just keep with 8m. And these two side lengths are each 2m. Now this side length here that I'm going to highlight in purple is just going to be whatever's left over. So 2m will go from here to here. This 2m will go from here to here. So this bit in the middle is just what's left over from 8m. So we just do 8m, take away 2m, take away another 2m, and we are left with 4m. So notice how we add these three terms together, we get 8m. So we're going to add on another 4m, and now this length here is 4m, so let's add on another 4m, plus 2m, and finally plus 6m. So 
So that is our expression, but we can obviously simplify this. These are all m terms, so we can add together all of these terms. So this gives us 14m, 16m, 20m, 24m, 28m, 30m, and 36m. So that is our expression for the perimeter. Okay, so over to you now. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can write an expression for the perimeter of these three shapes and try to simplify your expressions as well. Okay, this first one here, we've got a rectangle. So the perimeter is going to be 2G plus this length, which is just G plus this length here. And notice that this is a rectangle. So these lengths are the same. So this is also going to be 2G. And these lengths are also the same, so we're going to add on another G. So in total, we, how many G's have we got? We've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 G's. So that is our answer. Okay, moving on to the next one. We've got this L shape, so we're going to start with a base. So that is 6 H. We're going to add on this length, which is 2 H. Then we're going to add on this length, which is 3 H. We're going to add on this length here, which is 2 H. We're going to add on this length. Now this length is going to be what's left over if we take this length to begin with and we take away this length. So this whole base is 6h, this is 3h, so this also must be 3h. We're going to add on 3h and finally we're going to add on the height. Now the height is composed of this length here plus this length. These two added together is the same as this, so 2h plus 2h is 4h. So let's add all of those h terms together. 6 plus 2 is 8, 11, 13, 16, 20. So our answer is 20 h. Now the last one, we've got this trapezium. So we've got 2n, let's start at the top this time. So 2n plus 10, this length is just 10, plus the base, which is 3n, plus this length here, which is 6. And again, we can simplify this. Let's add together our n terms first. 2n plus 3n is 5n, and then 10 plus 6 is 16, and this is our answer. We cannot simplify this anymore. We can't add together these two terms because they are not like terms. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm going to go back to bed to get some much needed rest. In the next video, we are going to look at solving some equations using perimeter. I'll see you then.